Okay, so what we're going to talk about today is uh, metal weights and in particular customizing uh, your metal weights uh, to enter in a different specific gravity than is currently listed in the materials that are found in matrix version 9. So um, everyone knows how to uh, just simply go to the tools menu and select your metal weights here and select uh, you know Fluttershy here and we can hit calculate and that's going to give us a um, a weight based on the volume of the piece according to the specific gravity that have has been listed in that particular color metal by GemVision. Um, now there are different specific gravities available for different alloys obviously if you use a different kind of alloy it's going to give you a slightly different result in your specific gravity here so to make things a little bit more accurate according to whatever it is that you happen to use what we can do is we can simply go to the render menu now the important thing to remember is that all of these specific gravities um, are based on the v-ray materials themselves so um, it's pretty easy to change all that or to customize it. What we're going to do is we're going to open up our V-Ray Styles Builder and we don't have to worry about changing the style or anything like that. We really just have to go to the color uh, that we want to add. Uh, so I'm going to stick with yellow gold at the moment and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this little button here called Materials Save As. When we click on that we're going to give this a different name because it's already got the name yellow gold. So I'm going to call this Ant test one. And I'm going to save that. Now that will appear in the list. We still have yellow gold, the GemVision material here, that's fine. But now we have Ant test one. And now that we've got this here, here's where all the cool stuff starts. We can then come down to this little button here that appears and we're able to add our different specific gravities here. So for example, nine carat yellow gold. Um, well, that's the, the gem vision range here. Um, we could probably delete that. Delete the selector type. Okay, so we can select all of these and delete what we don't need. So yep. And we can type in our own. So we can say nine carat and we can add in a specific gravity and let's just say it's 11 point, I don't know, 15 and hit add. And you can keep going, you can add 18 carat and uh, add a specific gravity there. I don't know what the specific gravity for 18 carat is, but let's just say it's um, it's 12.45, let's just say, whoops, not zero. Okay, and add that. And you can keep going crazy as far as you want. Matter of fact, um, you know, I guess if you're not going to use this for rendering, you could probably uh, put, you know, your different white golds in here and all the rest of it. So um, I'll show you how to to change that, uh, change that as is. But at the moment, we've got metal quality here, which is reflective of whatever happens to be in here. So we've only got two options here. Um, if you were to have, you know, nine carat white gold and um, you know, nine carat rose gold and so on and so on, they'd all list up here, which would also populate in this list here. So whatever you type in here will populate in here. Once we've got all of that, um, we can select Fluttershy here and we can apply that material to good old Fluttershy. Um, we don't need this open anymore, we can shut this down. And now when we come across to our metal weights here, rather than using um, you know, our stock standard stuff, if we click on use object materials and then we select Fluttershy and hit calculate, in the 18 carat that we listed in there, if we open up our V-Ray Builder again, um, in, in that specific gravity for that 18 carat, and that's the one that we have listed there, you're going to see that, okay, well that's according to the volume of this and the specific gravity of this, this is the weight. Um, so, you know, if we were to change from 18 carat to say 9 carat and then select Fluttershy again and apply that and then if we click on Fluttershy and hit calculate, it'll give us a different weight for 9 carat, 8.39 grams and so on. So that's basically how you do that. Now you can um, delete these if you want to, um, or you can add more. You can, you know, if you wanted a, a separate list for white golds, for example, then it's the same procedure. Just select white gold there, go to 
materials save as you know give it a, a different name so ant white test and save there it is down there so you know you'll be able to have your essentially your entire list of your own customized materials applied to whatever it is that you want to weigh according to the different specific gravity that you would like to enter. Alright, I hope that helps.